welcome everybody to another episode of Glitchy and Phoenix Talk Shit. We're still working on a title. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, still working on one. Still working on it. Today's topic will... Today's starting topic will be crazy ass fangirls. Which will segue into... And it will segue into people who don't act their age, dress their age, or just frankly dress and act inappropriately. Correct. To start, One Directioners. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't understand what it is about boy playing bands. to... Well, b not necessarily boy, boy bands. Today. Playing to a 12-year-old audience that gives you the right to have fans who... Are okay. just plain rude. Yeah, especially if you use said fans to attack other people. Yeah, and just because you have fans that are 12 years old, and you may have, you know, a legion of them, doesn't mean it gives you uh, the right to be an asshole. Correct. It just doesn't. So, not only are the fangirls at fault, but you're kind of at fault too, because you're being an asshole, and you're saying, oh, well, I can do it, because I have fans that are in middle school. Yeah. What the fuck? And, and you're sitting there not... You're, you're, you're quote-unquote a role model to these psycho fucking little females, and males even, and you're not trying to stop them from doing the crazy shit they're doing. Oh, and this brings me to an, a, a good point about this. Parents. Parents, parents, parents. <laughs> do not get all up in arms... When a celebrity does something that may be considered stupid. We all make mistakes, and they never ask to be a role model. It's one thing if they say, you know what, I'm, I want to be a role model to people, mm -hmm. and then they go out and, you know, fuck ten guys. It's another thing if be they just decided to be it, or well, yeah, be it male or female. It's another thing if they make a decision for their own personal life that doesn't involve you, or your little special snowflake, and then you want to be bitchy because they're living their life. You know what? They didn't ask to be loved by your child, or they didn't ask for your child to emulate them either. Mm. How about you teach your kid not to follow the crowd and be their own person? How about you teach your kid that Miley Cyrus is not an appropriate way to dress? No. That's Although, good on her for... I will say, though, good on her for picking her own gender identity and all that kind of stuff. I Yay agree. for her. I agree, I agree. Um, it's fine that she wants to dress like that. It's fine that she wants to act like that. That's how she chose to act. Yeah. If your children decide that they're going to mimic everything about said person, that's the child's fault and your fault as a parent. And to her credit, she's not going around saying, I want 10-year-olds to dress like me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, I mean... She's just... Living her life, making money, and honestly giving people what the fuck they want. And she's kind of a marketing genius, because mm -hmm. that, that whole shitstorm, well not really shitstorm, all that stuff that happened before her latest out or last album dropped, all that did was make people want to get the album more. Exactly. Exactly. So, Why do you I think mean, Lady Gaga gets as much attention as she does? They're marketing exactly. geniuses. They do weird shit because they know people will pay attention and pay money. Also, in case anybody's wondering why my fingers look like they do, I dyed my hair black, or put some black highlights in my hair, and I didn't use gloves. Like a dumbass. <laughs> She's been fingering a minor. Don't listen to her. Does it, that doesn't sound right! Oh my god, don't say shit like that! Miner oh, is a coal shit. miner, you even... dumb shit! Ooh! Oh, my... Ooh! You're trying to get me in trouble. He means coal I miner, totally... not miner as yeah, an underage. I, I didn't even realize how that sounded. Whoa! 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 <laughs> You're gonna get me in some trouble. I'm trying to say shit like that. Motherfucker, I swear. I do not we can... touch Children, okay? We can, he meant minor can, as in coal miner. M I N E R. We can cut that in editing. Bitch, how are we gonna cut that in editing? We don't know how to edit. Fuck all. Unless Gavin decides to take pity on us. I swear to God, Alex. 
Anyways, back on fucking topic. Crazy ass fangirls. Now, um, well, fangirls and fanboys. Now, me personally, I am a, I have been labeled a fangirl, but I don't get nearly anywhere near as, as, as psycho as some of these fucking people get. As some of these fucking teenagers get over stupid shit. Yeah, I like Harry Potter. Yeah, I like Lord of the Rings. I like anime, and I like video games, like some video games. But I don't sit there and scream at the top of my fucking lungs in a public place. And, you know, announce to the world or whoever the fuck that... I'm gonna be the baby mama of such and such. I don't fucking sit there and fawn over boys that are younger than me. Unless we're talking about, like, Dragon Ball Z, and in that case, there's some of the characters in there that are younger than me now, but they weren't when I was originally watching it. This doesn't make any sense. Technically, most of them are older than you because the series has been out for quite a while. This is true, now that I think about it, including Harry Potter. Um, and anyway. Harry Potter's supposed to be set in 1999, like, or in the 90s, and I'm like, what? So wait, Fred and George are, like, older than me? Hello, Um, <sighs> oh, Lord. And that's, like, I don't understand it. I have seen YouTube videos of girls that got, like, you know, Justin Bieber tickets or One Direction tickets, and they start, like, crying and hysterically freaking out. I have never gotten a gift right. that made me so hysterical. Then I cried. Yeah, and whilst I'm grateful for the gifts I get and the gifts I receive, and I'm not going to lie, when my co-host here bought me Dragon Age Inquisition for my birthday, and I said birthday wrong on purpose, I did kind of hyperventilate a little bit. Yeah, she did. And it was adorable. I wish we'd gotten that video. I wish we'd gotten on video. No, you want to um, talk about shit we should have gotten on video. Talk about what happened earlier tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> Things... It's Things. never a dull moment. It's really never a dull moment when we're on um, video together. Anyways. While we're on the topic of age, mm. these women that are, you know, between we are 50... We segueing into the second topic. Between 50 and 70 years old and start talking about how sexy Justin Bieber is. Or how sexy okay. the members of One Direction are or any other boy band out currently. They're old enough to he, you know, Justin Bieber himself. If you're between, you know, 50 and 70, they're just old enough to be your kid, possibly your grandkid. Mm. So, stop being gross. Seriously, stop being gross. Just stop being gross. And it's like, if you're over the age of, you know, 30, 35... Spanks are not okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> but don't go out wearing pants that say juicy across the ass. Oh, for fuck's sake. Honestly, nobody should wear those pants. Those pants are fucking hideous. Those pants are stupid. And then females like to use it to get insulted when people stare at their asses. I'm sorry, bitch, you're the one yeah, with words on your butt cheeks. And I've it's only seen cute. two varieties. I've only seen two varieties of women that buy it. Mm -hmm. Or wear it. Mm -hmm. Either people that are not, or way too old to wear them. Or people that are not old enough to be wearing them. Well, I've seen like the there's... thirteen year olds with dirt juicy across the ass, and I'm like, go put some clothes on, and you are a child. learn about cooties. <laughs> well, about there's cooties. a third type. Yeah. There's a third type, and I am not trying to fat shame. I am not trying to do that. But when you wear some clothes that are ten sizes too fucking small, and everything is hanging out, I'm gonna fucking judge you. Because yeah. you know your size. You know how big you are, and you know where the fuck to buy appropriately sized clothing. And if you purposely wear clothes that are ten times smaller than what you know you are, I'm judging you. And you can understand well, and think it. If you see me on the street and you're wearing something that's ten times too small, and I see you, I am judging you, and it's not in a pretty way. And, and let's be honest, that goes for people of any size. Any size. I saw... A a woman when I was on vacation a couple of weeks ago that was this big around, but she was wearing shorts so short that I could pretty much see her entire vagina. Um, and being that he's in a wheelchair and at that height, he literally could see everything. Yeah, and it's hard That's to get away from that. And it's just gross, okay? 
even if I was straight, I think I would probably have a problem with that. Mm. She was at least 45. Honestly, and... I don't care if you're fucking 13 to 90. I don't want to see a stranger's vagina when I am just trying to have a goddamn vacation in a public setting that does not allow nudity. If I'm on a nudist Thank beach, you. okay, I might fucking understand it. Well, I will understand it, and, you know, I'll be accepting of it, but I'm not going to sit there and watch two people fuck on a nudist beach. I'm not going to sit there and actively try to say, oh, hey, the word is legs. Let's spread them. Spread the word. You know, I'm not going to fucking sit there and ask females or males to show me their shit and purposely display it, even if it's just a nudist beach. Because, you know, if it's a nudist beach, every fucking buddy's naked, y'all got the same shit. Somebody has more, somebody has less. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm not going to actively be like, dick. Pussy! And you're fucking up on your shit. I'm going to go about my business and hope nobody's looking at me. <laughs> well, I'm personally... <laughs> I'm not confident enough in my appearance to go to a nude beach. So well, you'll you'll lie, that's, the that, that's, a, that's a whole nother easter egg. Um, <laughs> Surprise! Why bitches I, nudity! What, why did I just fucking say easter egg? I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't um, know. You just did it. And this is the part of the show where we start spitting out random things without... Random thinking. metaphors! Yeah. Um, Back on to Epic. Another thing that I find highly disgusting is the double standard within the world. That seems to make it be perfectly okay for a woman to, no matter, despite her age, completely and utterly fawn over underage boys... And yet, if a fucking guy does it, if a man does it, and mind you, I'm a woman a saying this. If I'm a, I'm a woman saying this. But then you see a man doing the same crazy shit, the same fanning. Oh, oh, oh she's so cute. If you, if you see a grown-ass man doing that to a male or female that's underage, then that male pedophile. man's a pedophile. That's not right. That's not right. Here's, it's not okay. Here's, here's some food for thought. I was watching TV earlier, and I saw a commercial for CougarLife.com. Where it's encouraged. My eyebrows for men, are currently on the ceiling, just saying. <laughs> where <gasps> it's encouraged for men of age 18 to, say, 30 to date women at least 20 years older than them. I have I'm seen sorry. these sites. I'm sorry, but if a man did the same thing, he would be getting all kinds of shit because he's robbing the cradle. Or, yeah. um, you and know. we're not saying that there aren't women out there who do get shit for quote unquote riding the cradle, but when you label yourself as a cougar, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with liking younger men or younger women no. when it's appropriate, but a 30 year age difference is kind of gross. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. We're not here to pull yeah, punches, really we're not here to play games and placate the people. We're here to give our fucking honest opinions, and that's what we do. And, 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 you know, it's, it's just... I'm trying to, like, censor my understand. can of soda. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and oh, I don't God. fucking understand these people because it's there's such a double standard out there, period. And sometimes it goes either way. Um, I find it strange that men can go outside without a shirt on and women can't. Um... You know, the whole and breastfeeding. There's a whole lot of men that really just shouldn't go shirtless as ever. Well, yeah, there's that too. There's also a whole <laughs> lot of women. And there's the whole breastfeeding argument. I'm sorry. Baby's gotta eat. Exactly. A baby's gotta eat. And if the only fucking thing you have are your two titties that are lactating, let a bitch feed her fucking baby. If she's and trying to not... cover herself up, don't fucking sit there and scowl at her or talk shit or click your tongue or turn your nose or whatever. Walk away if you don't want to see it. Look the other direction. There are not enough spaces aptly available for females with children who breastfeed. There's not enough access. And it's, and it's one thing if they've got both tits hanging out and they're breastfeeding. You know, that's one thing. It's not appropriate. If you have but, twins, that's a different story, but... Well, if you have twins, yeah, that's... And different you have story. the, like, skill set to feed both at the same time from two different titties. I'm clapping for you, bitches. I'm clapping. Well, and it's like, I don't... It's hard enough to hold a squiggly-ass baby on one titty. I don't find 
it's sanitary. These people saying, "We'll take your baby into the bathroom." No, that's no, disgusting. That's you're gross. opening the poor. You're opening up the infant to a whole slew of possibilities of diseases. No thanks. Why don't you people try to make specific fucking sections separate from bathrooms that are appropriate or safe for a woman who's breastfeeding to go into? Yeah. It's, it it would not be that hard to make like little nice stalls off to the side, even in a mall or even in public places. Um, well, you can't really get much more public than a goddamn mall. But massive amounts of places have access to different types of bathrooms, and you know, another thing they don't have enough of is handicapped spaces and handicapped accessible bathrooms. I agree with that. And they're usually always in the very back. In the very so back, if, and they're usually always very disgusting. And usually, if there's anybody in either of the, any of the stalls, or if they're heading toward the stall, you have to squeeze past them. Mm -hmm. And that's not to easy to, to do stall. in a wheelchair. No, because oh, wheelchairs are not skinny most of the time. Um, and, okay, speaking of bathrooms, this brings me to another, a whole other topic. Um, <laughs> We're all over just, the place again. Just because I'm gay doesn't mean that I'm gonna stare at your dick when you're in the when you're at the urinal. And Seriously. just because I'm gay doesn't mean I wanna jump you. Seriously. I have standards. I have standards that and don't involve you, you. And if you automatically think that I wanna fuck you just because you're male, I probably don't want you you anyway because you're full of yourself and you know. Mm, that's narcissism not hot. is not sexy. No. Confidence that's a whole other story. But, um, Confidence can narcissism. easily become arrogance and narcissism, and it's a very, very fine line. It is. It really is. Um, oh, we are at know, the 17-minute mark. Okay, well, we probably should wrap this one up. We um, can go all the way to 20, or we can just cut it off. Well, it's going to take us this long to wrap up the video, because you know how long-winded we are. <laughs> oh, we um, are so long-winded. So, while we're wrapping up mm -hmm. as as i've said in the other videos and i'm probably going to continue saying this until we get good and going um <laughs> the channel is still new so comment with suggestions and um just tell us what you guys want to see we're currently criticism not is welcome if you're an asshole we may Smack talk about you if you're an asshole Honestly, or yeah. we you know we may Bring you up in a video that's not saying you should be an asshole. We may bring you up if you're really nice too. In mm -hmm. fact, if you're nice, we may do like a nice person of the week. I don't know. Yeah, um, hey, there you go. You know, maybe we're we're kind of hoping to encourage people to band together and be honest about these things because there's a lot of Stop topics that all the obsessions with being politically correct. Yeah. And there's a lot of people, that, or a lot of topics that people just don't talk about because it's not politically correct. It's not and polite. Think, it's not, oh, it's taboo. You shouldn't talk about it. Okay, I'm going to talk about it anyways. I don't fucking care. It needs to I be said. And I think it's time. Yeah, it needs to be said. It needs to be discussed. Um, so, yeah, that's just going to be a thing. And we're going to try to include links to interesting things in like each video. Like songs that we like um, or certain pictures that we find interesting. Although some of them might or, be in SFW. Don't know. <laughs> probably, but we'll label those just in case. Yes. Um, which brings me to the thought that this is a mature channel. Mm -hmm. I should be saying this at the beginning of the video. But I keep we forgetting keep myself. forgetting! Um, Disclaimer's at the end like, yet again. <laughs> please don't allow your children to watch, us watch this. Um, if it, you want yeah, your children to be subjected to the truth, please watch us yourself and then tell them what we've said but in a less or in a more child friendly way i should say more child friendly or, or if you think your kid is able to handle yeah. it watch it with your kid yeah and do what i do as soon as you hear swearing cover their ears and yell really loud that works too <laughs> yeah i mean you know um but seriously we want to know what you guys think because this is new and we need topics and we're kind of coming up with things as we go but we've lost our maker topic list so yeah <laughs> we did that's a thing. okay we're ending uh, the video now because we're at 19 minutes and 51 seconds so 
Goodbye. Have a wonderful day, evening, whatever time of, whatever it is for you. Have a good Stay one. Stay sexy and subscribe. Subscribe.